Hi, this is Mark from LongIslandWatch.com. Today I'm going to re-review, if you will, or do a quick overview of the Islander Field watches. Um, when they were released um, a bunch of months back, I did a video, I'll try to put a card up if I remember, um, and I've gotten them all back in. They were out of stock for a little while. The white sold out first, then the black, then the green, then the blue, or then the blue, then the green, whatever the order was. Uh, I have them back, made a bunch more. So it's all the same colors. But I changed the loom, and I loomed all the Arabics on the black, blue, and green dial models. I could not loom the Arabics on the white dial model simply because they are black numbers, and I didn't want to go with black loom um, in this situation. Um, so I'm going to just show you those four watches briefly and show you how they look with the new loom. Uh, they're kind of hot. I am still discovering old friends in the watch drawer. Um, here is an old citizen uh, eco drive, echo drive, whatever you want to call it, uh, definitely has a solar cell problem. It's been in the sun for about three days. And can you see the needle at the top? It's showing about a quarter tank left. And when I pulled it out of the windowsill, like an hour ago, it was three quarters full. So I don't know. This one's not going to last too much longer. Um, and then uh, an Orient Sun and Moon with a blue dial. I used to wear this in older videos a whole bunch. This is a re version, version 2? It doesn't hand wind, right? No, version 2, no hand wind. Um, E-T-O-T-O-O-4-D, scare how I remember all the part numbers. Let's see what I uh, did to these Islander Field watches. So we'll call this like a mini re-review of the Islander Field. I'm looking at... Uh, 40, 41, oh wow, I put them in numerical order, I didn't even plan on it, 40, 41, 42, and 43. As I said, these three are just slightly different than the original versions. This guy is the same. The white dial was the most popular seller, um, followed by the black, actually, um, and then the green, then the blue, I want to say. Um, but anyway, I'll go over them quickly, and then I'll, I'll show you um, what differences we are staring at. But I guess we'll start... I might as well start with the most popular one. Then we'll talk about the differences afterwards. So, uh, we're looking at a 39-millimeter uh, diameter case, 12 millimeters thick to a flat AR sapphire crystal, AR on the inside only, 48 and a half on the lug tip to lug tip. Uh, it is a exhibition case back, um, Islander, the logo, sapphire crystal, um, 100 meters of water resistance sapphire crystal both back and front okay 20 millimeter lug width it comes on this kind of nylon front like this weave with leather backing on the holes the leather reinforcements and then it is leather backed signed as well brushed and signed buckle the strap does come with these quick release spring pins you just pull that back with your finger pop it out so i would say all of these are definitely strap monsters um you could do whatever you want with these um, but i i pick simple colors just to kind of match up with the dials runs on oh before we get to that i'm sorry it is a um screw down crown 100 meters of water resistance but i did put a screw down crown on it okay so runs on the seiko nh 36 movement um, which hand winds and hacks uh, the day window and the day uh, mechanics inside are removed you unscrew the crown the crown crown pops out you can wind it for your 40 hours of power reserve and two clicks to change the time one click to change the date push down turn seat it for your full 100 meters of water resistance uh, sign crown so i did it in white the black the blue and the green so let's look at the black real quick they're all the same, okay? I've used the same colored hands on uh, the other three that you're gonna see. Only the white one had black hands. So these are all white hands. Um, loom is done now on both the markers and the numerals on the next three watches you're going to see. And it makes for a really nice effect at night to have the Arabics loomed up. Um, obviously, besides the abundance of loom you see on the hands and the tip, of the second hand as opposed to the lollipop just made more sense to tip uh to loom the the tip that made sense right the tip where you're actually reading the seconds uh so let's um let's zoom in a little bit on it as you can see the date is framed nicely in white 
Really very nice looking watch. It's an excellent size at 39 millimeter. You know, just under 40. I, it just works. Works really well for a field watch. People have asked me if I'm going to do a bracelet for these. I am not. Um, I chose not to, and I had to make that decision um, before the second batch was made because then you know, tooling changes and stuff. You have to make sure the lugs are all drilled exactly the same if you're going to use a solid end link bracelet. So I opted against offering a bracelet option because um, I really don't think this watch belongs on a bracelet. And I'll use for my own reference the Seiko SNK 809 K2, which is on the fabric strap, versus the K1, which is on the bracelet. The K2 outsells the K1 by a long shot. Um, so, I don't know, just felt like a bracelet wasn't really necessary. So here's the black dial. And I did a blue dial. And the blue dial comes on... Not really a blue strap, it's more of a gray strap, bluish gray if you want, um, but I felt it complemented the dial very nicely. Remember these numbers you're seeing are loomed, we'll get to the loom shot in a minute. And then the green dial, kind of a deep green, um, and then more of an olive colored strap. I kind of like how it looks, I think it looks really nifty. There you go, so let's, um, we'll do a loom. We'll do a loom shot on all of them, and what I'll do is I'll include the white one in there just so you can see that the numbers on the white one um, don't loom up. So here we go. Uh, so the three on the right have the loomed Arabics, and here's the white one, as I said, does not have the loomed Arabics. Still um, relatively easy to tell the time. You can see where everything is. The markers at the 12, 3, 6, and 9 are rectangles, while those the other numbers are triangles. But then check out the looming on the arabics isn't that really nice uh it's so sweet it looks oops, I put my hand over the other one it looks so good uh i don't know just it's a little change but man it it definitely changes a lot which again kind of forced me to do the video again so we can like re-experience uh the field watch so there you go on my six and three quarter inch wrist above or below it doesn't really matter the watch looks fantastic 39 millimeters is a great size 48 and a half lug tip to lug tip there you can see where I am on the strap. Oh, I did not mention the price, did I? They are all the same price, 189 So let's think about that, right? 189 Hand-winding, hacking movement. Sapphire crystal, screw-down crown. What a deal. Great-looking watch. Uh, there's not much more I can really say about it. Uh, I think it's fantastic, and I think the price is um, wonderful. And that'll do it. This has been Mark from LongIslandWatch.com, giving a little reboot, if you will, to the Islander Field Watch. Please like the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel if you've not done so. Questions or comments, put them down below, and I'll be sure to address them as soon as I can. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.